Hello ladies and gentlemen and newcomers to my channel. My name is Causal Jeffrey and welcome to my Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown playthrough. This episode number 15 and where I last left off I threw- I, fl I flew through a cannon to a base and so on and so forth. Um, now I'm off to the- uh, I'm now gonna try to take take on the city of Farbanti. Well, not by my, on my own of course, we're gonna- it's the siege of Farbanti. So, onward, and so on and so forth. And actually, if you, this is a huge throwback to Ace Combat 4, which I love. If that's the right word. Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the stress of combat. My job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, he was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight suit was made to my exact specifications. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But Mihai remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Quite a tall tale to say, I might say. I actually forgot about that, sorry. <laughs> forgot about Mihai altogether. The operation to capture Arusha's capital, Farbanti, is beginning. This is the culmination of our work. We need to capture the Erusian forces' general headquarters in the south of Farbanti and end this war. The plan is for ground troops to attack Farbanti from both the east and north, and a task fleet will attack from the southwest. We will secure air superiority over the capital, while providing air support for our allies on the ground and in the water as required. By all accounts, we expect this to be an intense, full-scale battle across land, sea, and air. Should you need to replenish your ammunition or make necessary repairs to your craft, a return line has been set up in the north. During this operation, we will also be tasked with having to destroy the communications satellites that Neruja hacked. If we take down the information communication system that we believe they have control over, it should plunge Neruja into chaos. Once the capital falls, the Erusian military will be isolated and thrown into chaos. 
making it easier for us to end the war. However, that can't happen until after the capital falls. So you guys are the stars of this battle. Eruja will fight like a tiger, but we cannot lose. We must seize the capital and end this war. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a big one. This is one of those missions that I <laughs> I've had to suffer through sometimes. Why? Because it's just one of those missions. Yep, just keep going with the PLS at L -S the PLSL. Why? Liability and it's versatile. I end up running out of sidewinders pretty quick, so always good to have a close range or long range <laughs> laser weapons, especially to get them from a distance. But I got to be careful with them still. Operation Giant's Step. <laughs> careful where he steps. That indeed. Okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But the the the, <laughs> the latitude longitude. Pretty much, it's like, oh, it goes from north north to south, west to east. That makes sense. Okay. Onward. Our troops have engaged at Fabati Reconstruction Park, Silver Bridge, and the submerged area. I'm going to try so hard not to get shot we down. We need to help our boys in those three locations. This will end the war. It's time. Commence the operation. Our friends are waiting. Lately, as your company commander, I've felt some of you young bucks coming after my championship belt. Try to get air superiority. It's good to be flying with you again, partner. Cute. No, it's real funny. Fox two. Oh wow, those fighters came in quick. Thinking, oh, I can get him with that. No, just no. Oh, they got him before me. Oh, it's okay. Our ground forces are now moving to capture our bots in the construction park. They're already engaged with the enemy. It seems the enemy was fast to protect them. They could use some air support. Half the enemy's already down.
attack up inbound. Forces are heading for two separate combat zones. We need to split our forces in two and meet both threats at once. Trigger, head for either area. Cyclops will take care of the other one. I could have another missile. I guess not. It's okay. I'll just work with it. Go. Ah, you know what? I'll go after the fleet. I took care of that. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. If you heard, if you heard my dog whining, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, damn it. So now I get the fun task. To take out that hot mess. Ah, 
That's right. so funny. I just fired two shots. That's it. Was a waste. Oh wow. Huh. Knock the knock the building flat out or down. And yet again. Oh, that's right. Damn it! Huh. I didn't think I didn't think I would, that would be a problem. Let's see how much I can take out. If I can only use my guns. Target acquired. Target locked. Need more enemy down. We can't hold the bridge much longer without it. Picking up. Three minutes remaining. We've spotted enemy backup. Check your radars. Copy. Trigger. It's about time we finish up here. We helped other allies in trouble. Take care of the ground forces, the reinforcements, that's what I meant to say. Strafing run. in the needle here. Oh, no, I'm good.
I'm trying to conserve uh, missiles. That's what I'm trying to do. This is the guy I fought in the canyon. Expected. Jeez, I didn't realize I had a missile behind me. Slide. 
I still need to get rid of Soul too. Sight Wiseman. Shit. Cyclops one is down. Cyclops one is down. He checked already, Wiseman. I'm sorry, God. This plane exploded. Wiseman, stay strong. We're not done here. Cyclops two, you've got the lead. Crap. Wiseman. Shit. Negative, Cyclops two, you're the lead. I can't do it. Trigger should take command. The duty is yours. That's impossible. Do it. Ugh. Damn it. I did more damage than I thought. Success. We'll guide you to the scheduled airport. All aircraft, leave this airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. Count, we all feel the same way. Shit. So Wiseman died for nothing. Thus is the end of the mission. As far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, and, and if those people, and for those who are thinking, oh, at mission 15, that's the end of the game. Nope, <laughs> not even close. This is a peacekeeping force forward base near Erusian territory. Other Allied aircraft have probably been forced to make emergency landings at other airfields. We don't know much. The mission to capture the capital is nearly complete, but we unfortunately have no intel. The enemy communication satellites are down and we have confirmed the deaths of several Erusian leaders. But our enemy was smart. They had a similar plan. Our own communication systems were destroyed at approximately the same time. We have no idea when or if they'll come back online. Stand by for further details. Okay. S rank, great, I don't have to do it again. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of episode 15. So in the next episode, we're going to find out what the heck happened. So, yep, that's going to be the end of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you leave me a like, it lets me know how I'm doing. If you leave a comment in the comment section, that will also let me know how I'm doing. And I will leave an ending card for the previous episode if you haven't seen already. And I will leave a link in the description to my channel if you feel so bold to see more of my videos or you're just curious what my channel's all about. And I will leave a link in the description to my Twitch account if you want to watch me live stream or you're just curious what I'm 
playing. And if you want to help me out more, you can go to my Twitter account, follow me, and keep up to date on what's going on and whatever I'm updating. So, or talking about, you know that, you know what I mean. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.